1973, I had an encounter with the Elohim. Uh, who are the Elohim? The Elohim are those who came on the earth a long time ago and did create all life on earth, including human beings in their image, like the Bible said. The very name Elohim means those who came from the sky. And now we have 65,000 members in 86 countries around the world helping me to do what? We start to clone baby in laboratories, to create artificial form of life, to travel in space, uh, also to welcome back our creator the Elohim. That's the mission they gave me, to build what the Jewish tradition calls the third temple, uh, uh, if possible close to Jerusalem, where they will come back with the, all the prophets who are kept alive through cloning on their planet. I pray, O oh Yahweh, that you send this sighting. Send it, O oh Yahweh, for us to see. Send it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Send it. I told you that this is how you would know that there's true power associated with the holy and magnificent name of Yahweh. Are aliens visiting us? Ralph says it's possible, but he doesn't think so. He said, just that, he said, it's possible, but I really don't think so, because if it was happening, I'm pretty sure they would have told me, he said. He shouldn't have called me a false prophet, man. I see, now I got somebody to be angry with. Because Yahweh is against Rahel. I'm the king of the UFO movement, and it ain't Rahel. Now I'm going to Canada. This fool called me a false prophet. Okay, we're going to see who the false prophet is. But I am. Can you do that? That's proof to you, God. You know, God way with me. He ain't with you. You know, spaceships are with me. I'm going to have to feel them. You ain't from Yahweh. I hate you. I'm very, very pleased to know that the first baby clone uh, is born. Well, I think, I think what's interesting about your whole documentary is that what you've been able to do, CNN and the national networks have faced which is you gain access to the inner workings of this group. I am not mentally ill. I am not a false prophet. Like those who seek to kill me say I am. I see something straight up. When you die, you create, you, you clone yourself, and you transfer the data and information inside the brain of the person you clone, and then you can live eternally. Yesterday, me and Abdul had a talk. He came to me and he said he wanted to talk to me prior. He brought up issues that let me know this is more to him than just a business project. And so uh, I, was, I was deeply impressed with him. And I feel good about it.
appeared before the Congressional Committee to tell what I knew of activities which might lead to an attempt to set up a fascist dictatorship. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. President Bush signed a formal agreement that will end the United States as we know it. And he took the step without approval from either the U.S. Congress or the people of the United States. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? I'm Jim Tucker. I've chased Bilderberg for 30 years. I'll never give up the chase. Bilderberg plan for the whole world is nothing less than world government. I'm not comfortable with that at all. Who elected these guys to run the planet? They are the elitists. They feel they should run the world for their own selfish interests. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government and only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. David Rockefeller admits in his own memoirs that he wants to destroy the United States. Right. He's a traitor! It's good to be back at the Council on Foreign Relations. As uh, Pete mentioned, I've been a member for a long time and was actually a director for some period of time. I never mentioned that when I was campaigning for re-election back home in Wyoming. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. I need you to move off the property, please. Some shots were fired. There's Bilderbergers right there. The Trans-Texas Corridor is a vital part because we stop here in Texas. We stop the new world order right here in Texas. This thing started here. And to save this country, we kill this damn thing here. Yeah. I also get to see see what greed, greed for money and greed for power does to people and how it forces them to act. A spiritual, standing as a spiritual voice for unity in our community is not only welcome, but it's absolutely essential. And you all give me hope, and it's a great honor to be with you tonight. Thank you. Not only welcome, but it's absolutely essential.